Welcome to the first part of gate solved problems. In the first problem, we have to find equivalent two's complement representation of the two's complement number 1101. So this is the number in two's complement representation and we have to find an equivalent two's complement representation for this number. So 1101 one, is already in two's complement representation. Two's complement representation and we have to find equivalent to complement representation the problem statement is little bit confusing so I will explain it we have a number in two's complement representation and uh, we have to find we have to find other way to represent this in two's complement so we can say that this is the first way to represent the number in two's complement and we have to find the second way to represent this number in two's complement. So let's see how we can solve it. In case of two's complement representation, MSB of positive number, positive number is equal to zero. The most significant bit is equal to zero for positive number. And for negative number, for negative number, the most significant bit is equal to one. Let's take one example to understand this. Let's say we want to represent plus 7 in 2's complement representation, plus 7. So first we will write down the magnitude. Magnitude is 1, 1, 1. This represents the 7. And to represent this plus, MSB is 0. So this is how we represent plus 7 in 2's complement representation. And if you want to represent minus 7, if you want to represent minus 7, so first we will write down the ones complement of this number, ones complement of this number is 1, 0, 0, 0. This is the ones complement. We complement each and every bit and then we'll add 1 to it. This will give us 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is the twos complement of this number and this represents minus 7. So you can see, you can see we have MSB equal to 0 msb equal to 0 in case of plus 7 and we have msb equal to 1 this is msb equal to 1 in case of minus 7 and this is how we represent plus 7 by using 4 bits by using 4 bits and we represent minus 7 by using 4 bits now we can represent plus 7 and minus 7 using 6 bits plus 7 is represented like this 0 0 0 one 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 we added these two extra zeros because they are sign bit and we can add as many sign bits we want so we added two extra sign bits to make it six bit number and uh, for minus seven for minus seven we have one 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 zero zero one this is the representation using four bits and we have added two extra ones because in case of negative number representation msb is equal to one or sign bit is equal to one so we have added two extra sign bits to make it six bit so this is the representation using six bits representation of plus seven using six bits and this is the representation of minus seven using six bits now what is the conclusion what is the conclusion we have drawn from this example? In case of two's complement representation, we can add as many sign bits we want. Like in this case, we added two sign bits to have six bits representation of plus seven. And in this case also, we added two sign bits to have six bit representation of minus seven. So this is the conclusion. We can add as many sign bits we want. Now we will move to the problem 1101 is the number in two's complement representation and msb is equal to one msb is equal to one so we can say that this number this number is negative number negative number and uh, first we have to find 1101 in the options whether we have 1101 or not in option number a we don't have 1101 we have 0100 so option a is not correct in option B, we have 1101, we have 1101, so we have option B. In option C, we don't have 1101, we have 0111, so option C is also incorrect. And in the last option, we have 1101. Now the next thing, the next thing is the repetition of sign bits. 
sine bit is 1 sine bit is 1 for the number and we can add any number of sine bits like we can add 2 sine bits and the number will be 111101 one, one, one. this was the original number and we have added two sign bits and if you see option B and option D you will find there is repetition of zero and zero is not the sign bit so option B is incorrect and there is repetition of one and one is the sign bit so option D is correct so this is how you have to solve this types of problem it is very easy and very interesting and you should know these little things this will help you solve problems in your exam now we will move to second problem in second problem two's complement representation of a 16 bit number in which one bit is sine bit one bit is sine bit and other 15 bits are magnitude bits and the number is f f f f and you have to find the magnitude in decimal representation so we have a number f f f f and we have to find the decimal representation of this number and it is represented in two's complement representation so let's see how we can solve it f is one 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 in binary and this is in hexadecimal so f f f f in hexadecimal is equal to one 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 for this first f for the second f we have one 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 for the third f and for the last f we have group of four ones so this is how we represent f f f f in binary the next thing is to find two's complement of this number find find two's complement and once you have two's complement convert it to decimal so this is the hint to solve this problem and this is the homework problem for you i'm not going to solve it I have already given the hint to solve this problem and once you have the correct option post it in comment section. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.